Hello everyone, Dance Macabre here. Welcome back to another video for the month of spooks. My fiance is gonna go ahead and join me with an episode of Monster Prom. Excuse me, you're joining me. I'm hosting. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the host. Well, my channel. <laughs> fair, fair. All right, are we gonna do first term or are we gonna do second term? We have to play this game. We played Monster Cam, so we're gonna go first term. Okay. Uh, do we want to do short or long? Uh, what you feeling? I guess short game. I guess short. Yeah, short. Okay. Uh, who does the narrator? Ah, uh, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Ooh. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Because we were the biggest monsters out there. Yes. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Before adulthood set in and we became depressed. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, because I looked up some of their ages. I believe Damien is like 22 or 23. I don't know what they're doing, but I mean, maybe it's Super different seniors. for monsters. Oh, 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 ah! I choose... You... I choose... I... Uh... Uh... Are you okay? Uh... Hold on, I got this. I got this. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I got- I got- I got this. Uh, you can see that? I got this, I got this, I got yes. this. Yes. Uh. Uh. Well, you know I don't want them to know my name. Um, okay. Fair, fair. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, who the fuck do I want to be? I don't know, who do you want to be? This dude, I guess? Uh, custom name. Uh, <laughs> wait, is it Mellow or Malo? I don't know. Oh god, <laughs> Melu. Miss <laughs> Melu. <laughs> I think it's M A, but you know what? I like it. Marshmallow. He looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> he does. I guess I'll have a B. I'll throw down. All right. My name is Marshmallow, because he looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> All right. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the Monster Prom. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left, and as fantasized about our dream- Oh wait, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. <laughs> Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Good God. <laughs> Damien LeVay, my bae, 21, oh he's 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Damien LeVay, oh, more the... like Damien LeVay, am I right? Yeah, Damien LeVay. He, I'm gonna go for him. I love the idiot. <laughs> he is an idiot. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> what was the code again? Okay, okay. Uh, no, I have to create a new one. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, okay. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and speed run and get back to where we were. Speed run. Can I make a space? I can. How do you do that? I have a better name. You just use a space. Oh. <laughs> On yeah. <laughs> I'll be yes man, but my pronouns will be they. Yay. <laughs> uh, should it be marshmallow or should it be soy boy? <laughs> I'll make it soy boy. All right, we got yes man and soy boy. All right, I'm changing this name to soy boy, guys. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> we know about this. Yeah. Alright, damn it, don't destroy it again. Okay. 
The Scott Hall, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain <laughs> with a stupidly huge heart. Liam de Leoncourt, 400XX, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polygeist, 22? A party goes with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Ooh. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Team Wolf, hot or not? Welcome to Mon- Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever! Wait, wait, wait! Oh my, they're running, but they are running so many different ways! Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sickle you are! Hell yeah! Monster prom stupidest pop quiz ever, TM! We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats! Yes! This this way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true self! I can listen to this voice. Let's start! Oh. If you had to have sex with an animal, which would it be? Oh, um, no. <laughs> okay. No As one this can happens, make me my dog walks up. <laughs> <laughs> Regal, no, avert your eyes. <laughs> no one can make me fuck an animal. If I fucked an animal, it'd be my own free will. It'd be of my own free will. As a matter of fact, I already have fucked an animal. So the joke's on you, pal. Oh a dolphin. They're the only other animal that fucks just for pleasure. So at least we could both do our best to have a good time, right? A purebred horse. At least I can keep his semen and oh, sell it. No. It's worth a lot. Who said there was no silver lining to be reality? You too. Please avert your eyes. Don't look at this. Um. Kaylee? Yeah. Kaylee? Yeah. We're not gonna talk about this, okay? But. <laughs> I mean, is there any right answer? <laughs> is there any right answer? <coughs> Wait, which one did you click? The first one. Stop! Can't read my answer! <laughs> What would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? The phone number of that sexy tiger on the front of the box. He's so passionate about breakfast and health that he's surely a great lover. A sample of a more nutritious breakfast option so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. A tiny piece of sharp metal so every scoop will be full of thrill and danger. No! <laughs> yes! More nutritious breakfast option. The world will end tomorrow. What will you do? I'm not reading this. Yeah. What will you do today? They always tell you the world is ending. I'll profit on other people's hysteria. I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after the end this should know my legacy. I always party as if there were no tomorrow, so who cares? Nobody ends the world but me. I end the world today. It's okay. We invented the apocalypse to take care of the, excuse me, overpopulation of commoners. 100 push-ups. No, 200 push-ups. Uh, me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, they always tell you the world's ending. Well, oh! Did I get Damien? I think so. Oh, yes! Damn it, I was gonna hold them for poltergeist. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you this. I looked up art of Vera. She's very sexy. <laughs> okay, okay, so where... I, I have Damien. Where would Damien be? Definitely not in class. <laughs> I'll try- I'll try outdoors. For a reason, you start a half hour race, like I'm so crazy. Good job. Thank you. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one, but at one point there are like 300 people! You're so cool. Someone's, <laughs> I know! 
someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension, the consequences might distort the fabric fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. <laughs> you gain plus two fun! Hooray. No, Damien wasn't there. You're taking a break with Scott, Damien, and Vera when the whole wolf pack comes stomping over. Oh, Damien is there. Oh, hi, Damien! <laughs> uh, uh, oh, great. It's these boneheads again. I wonder what they want. The wolf pack is here. Hey, Scott, what's up, dog? And non dogs. Oh, God. <laughs> you you want to be him? Sure. Eat shit, you fucking flea farm. Whoa, Damien, calm down. These guys are my cousins. Even more important, they're my teammates. Oh, oh yeah? Well, if we're so important, how come we didn't see you at the dog park last full moon? Last full moon? At last full moon? Oh, wow, I don't remember. I was at the bowling alley with Damien and Vera, and then it was the next morning, and I was naked and covered in blood. Oh, yeah, that night was rad. We all wake up naked and covered in blood after a full moon, Scott. But we wake up naked and covered in blood together. You know why? Because we're werewolves. The question is, are you? Uh, um, uh, I'm sick of these creeps always harassing Scott. We need to get rid of them, but how? I don't know a good name for her, I apologize. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, I mean, boys, okay. Pretend to throw a ball really far, but actually just hide it between behind your back of... Fiendish deception. Stack Vera and Davian on your shoulders to make yourself as big as possible. What you gonna do? I know Damien likes boldness, I think. I'm trying to think. What would be more bold? Oh yeah, okay. Battle stations, you cry. <laughs> and your friends bring into action. <laughs> At least Damien springs into action. You never practiced this with Vera. What? What are you two? Ah! Damien yanks Vera up onto his shoulders, so three of you <laughs> saw her over the wolf pack. My god, Damien is chaotic. Whoa, yeah. where did that huge Gorgon come from? And does she have a demon head for a dick? What the fuck? Whenever witchcraft is going on here, we're not into it. We're sports jocks, not warlocks. Warlocks. Warlocks! <laughs> the wolf pack leaves, and you manage to get Scott calmed down shortly afterwards. You disengage from your classmates. That was metal as fuck! Demon Head Dick is gonna be the name of my new noise band. <laughs> wow, I already knew you guys were my best friends, but when you work together, it turns out you're also my biggest friend. Also, I apologize to anyone listening. I cannot get deeper than this. And <laughs> like, I'm not a voice really actor, so apologize. <laughs> Well, I'm not a voice actor either, though I would love to. I can do really high voices, but I can't do really deep voices, <laughs> so I apologize. Well, I have to admit, I did quite like being taller than everyone. And you have to admit, you kind of liked being under under her. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Oh, all right. Oh, Soyboy's turn. Okay, what's Soyboy gonna do? Um... I'm sorry, I was I was at outdoors and Vera was there. I don't know if you have to go for Vera specifically, or I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go to class because he's a soy boy. <laughs> okay. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class was supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Ah, the sounds of learning. Chalk on a blackboard, pencils on paper, an ominous crash. It would seem that Damon and Vera have knocked oh, over okay. several desks in a rush to get to one particular seat. Oh, so they're there anyway. <laughs> Listen, snakes for brains, don't you dare even think about! Back off, brimstone breath! I will turn you to stone before you can snap your oddly well manicured <laughs> fingers! <laughs> What makes you think you're worthy of sitting in the ultimate cool seat? I could get more likes posting a picture of me flipping you off than you'd get a full frontal nude. Ha! <laughs> Clearly you've never seen my nudes. Ever heard of... DemonDoucheBroTexting.com Oh. Have you ever heard of DemonDoucheBroTexting.com? 
Well then, if my sex are internet famous, I'm obviously the fucking coolest. You think being ridiculed on the inter ridiculed on the internet makes you cooler than being on King Miner's list of wealthiest human hybrids under 300 years old? Okay. This could go on forever. Better settle it for them. <laughs> Jesus, don't call down an unholy storm of rhinoceri. <laughs> 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 That's probably something Damien would like, though. <laughs> probably. Uh, I'm gonna take the seat. Oh. Oh. Hold. Damon and Varia look at you in awe. It seems a, a new champion of coolness has been selected. Soy boy, it can't be, and yet the seat never lies. <laughs> Are you trying to steal my man? I'm not trying, trying to. to I'm trying to steal my man. You feel a change come over you. Your skin is glowing. Your blog is trending, and you're suddenly wearing free additional pairs of sunglasses? Man, who knew Soy Boy would be the next cool kid? <laughs> if you take the man, I'd blow to- but I don't oh know- No blowing! I mean, blowing. Should, you can blow I, to me too, honey. I bow to your lit snack chat skills and on sleek outfit. Do, do you want to lewd your impeccable fashion set? Let- <laughs> Lewd too. <laughs> Do you want to lend your impeccable fashion sense to my... No, 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 please! Join me for a night of punching and dominoes! <laughs> my man! <laughs> I'm sorry. Your social calendar is suddenly filled up. You're, you hope they don't mind if you stay seated for all the festivities. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. If you still love me! I'm sorry! Let's, let's trade places. Decide player order. Let's do random. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Don't you dare! I'm not going to. Don't you dare! You want to Don't you dare! But she's right there! She's there! I'm not sitting next to Damien! Do I have to? <laughs> I think you, I think you can go back to you want. Can I go back? No, you can't! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not! You need more chances to get my man! There's a seat next to Damien still. You better know what I can do! You find Damien and Vera come. Contemplating a huge slab of unidentifiable prime meat. <laughs> All right, Damien. I know we had our share of disagreements during this convoluted poaching ex expedition. <laughs> like when you told me not to bring all my knives. But I trust we can now put our differences behind us and enjoy the fruits of our labors. You mean the meats of our labors? Yes, together we will enjoy this raw, bloody cut of meat as a symbol of our- Wait, raw and bloody? You're mind, you're, you mean you're not even gonna try using fire on it? Of course I used fire. I specifically instructed the chef to prepare, to prepare this meat while glancing briefly at a lit stove. <laughs> <laughs> then the fire ever, you know, touched the meat? What would be the point of that? A cut this fine it can only be eaten ultra rare. Like hell it can! You wait here while I get my culinary flamethrower. Damien, please, let's be reasonable about this. What is reasonable? If we can't come to an agreement, let's appeal to an arbituary- Arbituary? Arbituary third party. Soy boy will surely make the intelligent choice for us. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? <laughs> Isn't that right? Soy boy, you'll make the intelligent one here, right? <laughs> right? I'll go for a barrack. It's too cooked. Thank, thank you. Quite right, quite right. Someone turn off the heat. Get a first frost wizard in here. Fetch me more blood from the blood bank. What the fuck? I'm not gonna eat a ch big chunk of raw meat. How am I supposed to ensure maximum suffering without fire? Oh darn, guess I'm going to have to enjoy this whole juicy steak by myself. Whatever, I'm gonna go burn a burger joint and eat whatever survives the fire. 
Good for you, Damien. Live your best life. Vera slips you a thick stack of cash under the table. Unfortunately, she pays you in Vera bucks. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're good for something. <laughs> More fortunately, your stack of Vera bucks is redeemable for four and a half minutes of intimate eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> My man's, my man's, my man's. I can't go there! You can't? I can't go there! No! <gasps> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm gonna go for whoever this cat boy is. A cat girl, cat girl. Welcome to my little shop. Or cat, cat non binary, I'm not sure. Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be more. That might be much needed at some specific moments, so take a look. Hmm. Are you sure? Okay, uh... I'm gonna always use to get the general idea, so you'll be able to act as we read it. Uh, crafting your art requires use of hard work, education, da 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 Too poor for this. This is an event, this is an event, so I can't get those. Uh, the gift keeps on giving. See, I'm wise enough to know where a gift is given. A sexy fake let and act like why the hottest thing is being yourself, honey. It has flames, a skull, and even a knife. <clears throat> With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch, and then murder them. But some kind of super prison. Da da da. Some probably get kind of funny with glasses. Remember when these used to be fun? Now they are, but they're so ridiculous that they're still fun. You know, just really. Okay, so what? What would... Uh... He likes something like bold and cool, right? I think so, yeah. Catch you later. Eh, oh well. Okay. I'll get my bold up. My, I'll get my bold up. Some uh, um, impractical yet yeah, funny. Yeah, okay, I read that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, random time! You don't want to challenge? Okay, we can challenge. Everybody choose, chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh... Cat. You stole it! <laughs> bat? <laughs> okay, cat and bat. Player order is decided based on how strongly you would avoid eating the selected <laughs> animal. Hmm. Oh. Corona versus domesticated animal. I could not eat a cat. You win. Yay. <laughs> If you All right. go, if you go, if you fucking go after my man. <laughs> You're so angry. Hmm, should I go I for am. the shop? I mean, it's up to you if you want to buy anything. Sure, I'll go for the shop. Hey, stranger. Good old soy boy, what's it gonna be today? Let's see. Oh, what's that? Is that a bloody tampon? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ew. <laughs> Wait, is that Coke? Can you at least hover over that? Here? No, the cocaine. Is that cocaine or sugar? It's cocaine. <laughs> it's cocaine! Sure, I'll give Soy Boy a badass tattoo. <laughs> No, that's gonna get to Amy and I feel. Okay, okay, I'll do the gift that keeps no, on no, giving. No, 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 no. You should get what you want. I got the gift. <gasps> <laughs> I got a sock puppet. This is the best best purchase. Um, okay. Sure. Okay. Um. Oh, I love this. Uh -huh. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. <laughs> I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You get plus zero shit, <laughs> but you gain plus two boldness. You're, you're minding your own business when Damien comes rushing through, punching everyone who's minding their own business. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm so angry! I'm so angry, I want to pull my own skull out and eat it! I'm not gonna point out the the ability <laughs> for that. I'm so angry. I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face. I love idiots. 
<laughs> I'm so angry, I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become the president and then use my nuclear codes to BLOW UP THE SUN! <laughs> and YOU! You're standing in my way. Move before I punch you so hard, you'll remember with melancholy the times when you could move without all of your bones hurting. Oh no, violence is on incoming, think fast! Joke's on you, pal. I'm a pragmatist. I avoid any kind of idealization of the past because it has no use and therefore I refuse that. No time to think of anything clever. Start dancing for no reason. <laughs> you have no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. It's really, really silly indeed. Before you realize, all your classmates have joined you in your silly little dance. What the fuck? No. Move or I will kill you dead, noob! No. But Damien, you can't deny, they are actually movies! Yeah, yeah and, and quite the- <laughs> You're going. <laughs> yeah, and quite the moves they have! <sighs> Clearly, even Damien can't find it gets logic. Maybe you should move, Damien. Don't be a loser. Yeah, as you just said, here you move or you die. All your classmates start chanting, MOVE OR DIE! MOVE OR DIE! <laughs> Damien, frustrated by the crazy mindless but joyful mob you've created, finally leaves. Still, from afar, you can see an internal fire burning in the back of his eyes. But for now, you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. I hope he doesn't hate me. I thought he likes bold. He'll be fine. I hope so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Soy boy! No, not soy boy! You're practicing your move. Oh, wait, who says this? I think it's you, actually. You're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you when you spy a much more invisible friend. Visible? Oh. What are you doing? What? <laughs> I'm not doing anything! <laughs> Yo, fuck Hammer. I need your advice about something. Get away! Do you know what the most powerful force on Earth is? Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine-pack abs? It's love. And I think I- <gasps> yeah! And I think I might just be in it. With your buddy, yes man. <laughs> and sure, love is already hardcore. Just because the feelings are so strong and that's badass. Aww. But the love will be doubly as strong and badass if it turns out that yes man is as hardcore as I think they are. Hey, help me out here. Help me out. And of course, there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. You know them pretty well. Do you know what their inner murder weapon would be? Um, duh, of course you do. By which I mean you're totally happy to make it up on the spot. So now's the time to decide yes man's fate. Fun, right? Don't be a dick unless you want to, in which totally go for it. Yes, please, 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 please. Let's see. They're the ultimate murderer and the leading cause of death worldwide and something capable of catching up to tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. Yes. <laughs> Damn! Thank I wouldn't have even so thought of that. No problem. If major cardiovascular diseases were a knife, they would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. If they were a sword, they would be two katanas. If they were a gun, they would be an atomic bomb! Wow. A cardiovascular disease was raging in Yes Man this entire time, and I never even knew it. <laughs> well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. But luckily, since you're the one who started this metaphor, you know that Yes Man isn't likely to die. <laughs> Unless they're dying to go to prom with Damien, in which case, bam, you're welcome, Yes Man. Thank you so much! <laughs> and you gain free boldness yourself. Thank you so much! No problem. Do we do a challenge? Yeah. Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Sinister! Edward Scissorhands. Players based on how bizarre an action figure based on the selected movie would be. Huh? I think they've already made action figures of Edward. Or at least figurines. I don't think they have of, of Sinister, but... I mean, we both kind of- I'll make it random. Okay. Alright. Alright. Cause that's- I mean, they both be not bizarre at all. Right. Okay, week um, two. 
Sure. Okay, uh, where do I go? Wherever you want. It seems like they just kind of follow you there. I don't know. Um, I'll go to the gym. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything- Oh, you can see his boxers. <laughs> Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, You're leading so to a spectacular cool. comeback. <laughs> I know! <laughs> You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. Despite everything else happening around you, you're just solving some Sudokus. But your mind is constantly going back to Damien. Stupid, sexy Damien <laughs> in his idiotic short temper. You think he could even be your sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24 <laughs> 7. For God's sake, he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. As a matter of fact, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral <laughs> screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. You stupid yellow fruit! What's your deal? Do you think you're richer in potassium than me? Oh my god, I love how He's stupid such an he is. Idiot. I love it. No one is richer in potassium than Damon fucking Levy. 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 <laughs> no, he didn't even get his own name right. <laughs> Is he even for real? Stupid, sexy Damien. No, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates to, into arson somehow. Uh, Eat the banana. Eat the banana. <laughs> you get closer to Damien in very in a very cool and quiet way. Huh? huh? Why don't you? Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> huh? Why don't you mind your own business, noob? It's not like I like you or anything, Baka. <laughs> but you don't mind your business. You eat the banana instead. <gasps> What? God! Oh, look at Damien. He's losing his shit again. Yeah, he was bullying that banana, but he seems all bark and no bite. Not like Yes Man, huh? Indeed. Yes Man seems to be all bite for sure. Fuck off! <laughs> I'm not interested in you, I'm interested in Damien. <laughs> kind of sexy. It's all, it is a worry being all bite, not the bully. Bullying is never alluring nor sexy. True that, unless you're bullying a banana. I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. Damien is stupid. Hashtag winners don't bully bananas, they just eat them. Hashtag Damien is a stupid banana bully. God, not again! Wait, not I again. <laughs> oh, I think it was because they were bullying him in the bathroom. Oh, I was gonna say, are you... <laughs> Do you normally bully bananas and people make fun of you for it? <laughs> no, I think it was the bathroom incident they're talking about. This is it! This is the last time you dare fuck with me, you bastard! I'm blushing! Does he like me or not? Oh, he is, okay. On prom night, we're going to share a very special dance. Spoiler alert, it won't hurt! Joke's on you, Damien! I'm a masochist! <laughs> Oh, that's a prom fight on prom night! Oh, that's a prom fight on prom night! Damien versus Yes Man! Instant classic! Interesting. I might attend. Damn right! You all have tickets to watch how I reduce Yes Man's bones into a sad, shapeless pulp. In a kinky way. Yes! Free tickets! Hashtag prom fight on prom night! And so you led yourself to your own potential death. Nice. At least you gain plus three boldness for doing so of your own volition. Yay. Is this good or not? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the library, I guess. That day, you spend some time in the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Soy boy! <laughs> <laughs> who knew he had such a dark secret? I know. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this Ooh. game, so who cares, and you gain plus 2 monies. You're so rich. Hell yeah. Later, you're wandering through the halls when you hear a voice from around a corner. Hi. Hey, psst. I seem to have accidentally turned a bitch to stone with my gaze. Oh, again. No. Don't get me wrong, she totally deserved it. Her nose is obviously fake, plus that nail polish, abominable. But, this isn't exactly the first time I've done this, and Principal Giant Spider said if I did it again, I'd get the tension. 
So now I need to dispose of yet another body. And I thought that since you're so attractive and kind and clever. You're going to give Soy Boy a boner just by saying these things. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be willing to cover up the literal murder I committed. No questions asked, right? Easy will just dress her up in some stuff from the theater and set her up in the quad like she's a new art piece. Never you fear my lovely murderess, my good buddy Mr. Hammer will make short work of the evidence. I'll even give you the nose as a trophy. Hmm. I actually don't know what she would like. I, I wish I could help you. I don't know which one she is. I think she's money. But I don't know what pertains to money here. I'm not sure, though. I honestly don't know. Uh, maybe she'll like a nose trophy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You raise your hammer to begin the smashing, but Vera stops you with a look. It doesn't quite turn you to stone, but close enough. Wait, what are you even doing here? Smashing a defenseless girl with a hammer is the, in the middle of a high school? And why? Just so no one will know, I murdered her? What's the point of even murdering people if no one knows you can murder people? I've got a reputation to uphold. Oh, well. You're a failure. I'm so sorry. I no, don't know it's what you <laughs> I can't believe I almost let you destroy the evidence of my totally justifiable homicide. Get out of here with that hammer before I make you eat it. Well, <sighs> someday you'll get to smash a petrified monster with a hammer. Someday, but not today. Today you lose minus two charm and minus one fun. Aww. Rest in I'm peace, so soy sorry. boy. Well, I mean, he is soy I'm so boy. Sorry. I'm still. Let's do random or let's do random. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. Fucking. <laughs> uh... What are you doing? You mess with me and then you try to sit at my table. Go away and get ready to die, fuckhead! You just eat in the corner in silence. Will you die soon? Who knows? Meanwhile, nothing else happens. <laughs> and, if you, if you, and if you think this is unfair, next time don't try to sit at the table of a person who has expressed his desire to murder you. Totally not a smart move. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry! You stole it Okay, who do I sit with? Uh... You like Polyguys, right? Hey, do you want me to sit with you? <laughs> You approach Scott and Polly's table to find them crouched behind a pile of jelly desserts, plotting. Hey, bro. At this point, at this point, you're not gonna get anyone, and I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> Thank bros if you're here, bro. Come on, join our huddle. Maybe you're curious about our huge pile of jelly jam, gelatinous dessert cups. Well, wonder no more. We're going for the jelly prize. Yeah. We're gonna win it. If we collect the foil cover of a hundred jelly desserts, we will be the lucky winners of... Yes! One free jelly dessert! <laughs> ah! They're so dumb. I love them, though. But right now, we're stuck. We've only got 99. That means we need... We need... One more, Scott! We need one more! We need one more! <laughs> You'd give them their, your jelly dessert, but you already threw it in a bird person you hate. <laughs> Guess you gotta make a choice. Let's see. Do I steal it or do I beg? I honestly don't know. I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> but isn't stealing wrong? <laughs> no, Scott, that's a myth. <laughs> like hangovers in the afterlife. Oh my god. You're on the top! <laughs> Uh, what? But if the afterlife isn't real, why are you a ghost? There's no time for metaphysical, Scott! We've got a heist to plan! Oh, I mean, I mean metaphysics! <laughs> no, Coach says stealing is wrong, unless you are stealing a ball, or a base, or victory from the jaws of defeat! <laughs> He's so dumb. Actually, I love it. Actually, it seems like sports is mostly about stealing. It's Polly time! Well, that settles it! Time for stealing! <laughs> One fake buzz, one real woolly mammoth, and a brutal running gun battle later, you finally secure one illicit jelly cup. Which means you turn in along with your 99 other jelly cups for one free jelly cup. Scott is too upset by all the violence, so you split your free jelly cup with Polly. Worth it! Challenge? Yeah. 
Everybody chooses a celebrity. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Miley Cyrus. Britney Spears. Player orders decide based on how weird a video game starring the selected celebrity would be. I mean, Miley Cyrus already got a bunch for her, so... <laughs> yeah, you win. Yay. <laughs> Soy boy, let's go! Alright, soy boy! I actually think my internet will be turned off soon, so. I'm gonna go outside. <laughs> yeah, oh, look at that yeah. dab. That day during go, recess. Soy boy. <laughs> that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything is fine until Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, asks, What do you think you're doing? Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. But you decided to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Musaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Musaka all together. Hell yeah. Go soy boy. It's a party remember you gave plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Without well, warning, Vera pulls you aside and hisses in your ear. Oh my god, the stalker's back! What? You follow her pointed finger and see a guy dressed in a white toga and winged sandals facing away from you. He looks like a creep. He's been following me everywhere. He thinks I don't notice him checking me out in that mirrored shield he has, but I totally do. Ugh, it's such a chore being this beautiful all the time! How am I ever going to get rid of him? Let's see. I have Why not bribe Zeus? What's bribe no Zeus? No! Oh. <laughs> With all the money left in your bank account, you go to the liquor store and buy a 40 ounce of King Cobra and some Peds. You pour it out, out in the parking lot and look expectantly up at the sky. <laughs> Lightning strikes you <laughs> twice. Good god. So pathetic. I'd rather take my chances with a stalker than slum it with a poor person who doubles as a lightning rod. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Why are you so freaking in the nerves? <laughs> it's soy boy. <laughs> he, might, he will simp forever. Because you blew all your money at the liquor store, you don't have any left over for your hospital bills, you lose minus two bulbas and minus one money. Um, sure. I guess you'll simp forever. Yep. I guess I'll go class. Oh, that late that day you learn a ton of spells that are all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to reduce stickers, stickiness. Yay. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate Hell ice yeah. cream. A spell to gain plus two smarts. You actually use that last spell and you gain plus two smarts. Good job. Thanks. Scott and Vera. Scott and Vera shoulder each other out of the way to try and get to you first. Bro. Hey, I heard Damien talk about he's gonna beat you up at prom. <laughs> yeah, mess him up. What? Hey, I don't believe in gratuitous violence, unless I'm a werewolf, in which case- in which case one time I ate a kindergarten- Oh no! <laughs> You're right, Scott. I should look into this upcoming carnage and think of a way of monetizing it. I heard Polly saying Damien was giving away free tickets to watch him skinning Yes Man Alive. Such a lack of business perspective is discouraging. That's not nice. Why haven't I received free tickets? Maybe the not so nice part is the part about you being skinned alive. <laughs> anyway, yes, man. What are you doing about this? May I interest you in some Oberlin life insurance? This might be a good time to get a policy. Yeah, yes, man. What are you doing about this? Won't you give us free tickets to watch Damien skin you alive? Don't be rude, bro. That's a good question. What are you going to do about this? Seems like you're pretty screwed, but. Maybe if you play your cards right, you can convince one of these two to teach you how to fight. Let's see. I guess I'll go with Scott. Yeah, he's probably more likely to do it. Wait, I'm a big guy. <laughs> oh, I got tr I got a Wait, I'm a big, strong, good-looking, good at sports, man. Okay, here's what you do. When Damien comes at you, just turn into a dire wolf and bite his face off. It's not gracious violence. It's it's not great greatest violence if it's self defense. Greatest violence? Oh, it's not greatest violence if it's self defense. Okay. Or full moon induced greatest violence. 
oh wait, you can't turn into a wolf, right? That's like a werewolf thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he's dumb. <laughs> oh, have you heard of punching? Well, let me explain to you how it works. After that, you have a very <laughs> cool training montage where you punch lots of things. You start by punching a punching bag, but later you punch several trees. Close to the end, you punch a whole tank, and you even punch <laughs> your various fears and weakness in the face! Hell yeah. Now you feel- now you feel ready to face stupid sexy Damien in the prom- in the prom fight on prom night. It will be bloody. You gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. <laughs> Ooh! Soy boy! Oh no. Uh... I think- I, I'm gonna ask I the poltergeist, cause I don't think yeah. Vera's gonna <laughs> want it. Yes. Yo. All right. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Oh. No! <laughs> I shared no! my free jello cup with you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor life cho choices is how I died. So now I can tell a poor afterlife choice. So now I can tell a poor afterlife choice when I see one. <laughs> and Boo, you're a big one. Polly! Uh, no way, Boo. <laughs> the shame Aww. of your constant failures was so great that you secluded yourself in your room for years and officially started dating your own Boo. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Life Boo, life forever. <laughs> Rest I'm, in I'm peace, so sorry. soy boy. In your cockiest voice, you remind Damien the two of you have a date on prom night. Yeah, fucker, it's a date! Prom night arrives, and your brawl is even scheduled in the official prom 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 gram. A crowd is ready and waiting for your fight. You oh! <laughs> and damn. And damn, you, and damn, you start fighting. All the advice proves useful, and you put up a hell of a good fight. Punch after punch, you start to see the thrill in Damien's eyes. He seems almost ecstatic to have found a worthy ad adversary. Deep down inside, you know violence is never the answer. Yet all the sweat and blood and physical contact is driving you crazy. Then, in the middle of that intense tango of violence, you start making out. Apparently, a good beating was the ultimate turn-on for Damien. How is that everything is ultimately about sex when it comes to young people? <laughs> Please start leaving because apparently witnessing free vi oh people start leaving because apparently witnessing free violence is okay, but witnessing a very intense and physical demonstration of love is somehow wrong. So you take your prom fight to the bathrooms. It turns out that somehow the sex is even more violent <laughs> than the fight. Some of your ribs end up broken, but damn, was it worth it? <laughs> Most likely to be a sleeper agent just waiting for the code word. Wait, there's more school <laughs> after this? What the fuck? Oh wow, okay. Good job. Oh, I'm, so so I'm so sorry. You didn't get anyone. I mean, it is soy boy, so... <laughs> <laughs> Next time, don't be soy boy. <laughs> you be true to me. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Polly took a summer job at the Ghost of Christmas Present. She spent most of her time partying. There was almost no work because, you know, it was summer. <laughs> Damien became an interior designer, spe interior designer specializing in torture machines. I found Last something month, else for Damien. <laughs> This is yeah. Damien found peace oh. in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything till one day he punched his own anger to death. Oh. He's Last written a book Vogue... about it. <laughs> Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between Macrobe and Sheik. Miranda used her vast knowledge of serfs to get a job handpicking the best serfs for other people. Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do the work. Scott became an athlete. Not so long ago, he won a prestigious national award for being the best at doing sports. For those two weeks, the monster prom seemed long but larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but, they, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Yay! 
I feel so bad. I mean, I guess you're hanging out with Vera. Yeah. She just calls me over uh, when she needs something. Oh, hey, Slenderman. Yeah, I see you. But that was that was nice. I like that. Yeah. I feel so bad for you, though. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, look at Damien. I, just, I know. Oh, I love him. I'm so glad. I feel so bad. Why would you doom yourself as Soy Boy? I don't know. <laughs> Why would you doom yourself? I did doom myself from the very beginning. You do not call yourself Soy Boy. You call yourself like, yes, ma'am. I'm glad that you were able to get together with that dumb bimbo. But I'm so sad that you didn't get to be with Vera. I mean, I know you wanted Polly, but like, you couldn't even get Polly or Vera. I couldn't get any of them. That's so sad. Ah, oh, rest in peace. Well, I'm sure we'll play this again. Yeah. Well. I'm glad we were able to finish it. Right? Because I know that your family was gonna turn off the internet here in a minute because apparently routers catch on fire. Yeah, apparently. Oh, that's so cute! No. Oh, I just unlocked something. Did I you unlocked unlock six anything? new images. I unlocked, uh, you've just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons! Hell yeah. <laughs> this is about to get weird. Unlocked, you have unlocked 10 new images in the nether. Well, that was great! Heck yeah. I love that. We should play some more next time. Yeah, definitely. But we're gonna go ahead and end it for now, because like I said, the internet's probably gonna be going off soon. Boo! <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe to vi uh, Not the- uh, <laughs> I can't even do my outros right. I don't know. <laughs> Be sure to like the video and drop a subscribe and click the notification bell. We need to increase us from 5 subscribers to 10, guys. Yeah, to 10! And be sure to look in the description for all my social medias. And if you want to support me financially, check out my Etsy and my coffee. I'll say it before, I'll say it again. Check out her stuff, it's really good. <laughs> and until next time, this is Dance Macabre and her fiancé signing off. Bye-bye!